Hey guys, so today I will be installing Love Me Virgin Hair. They sent me three bundles of 24 inch straight hair as well as a 360 straight hair textured frontal. I decided to color the hair and I used a 30 volume with Olaplex and Paul Mitchell Lightner. And Olaplex is used to preserve the integrity of the hair while bleaching. So that's what I'm doing here, just showing you guys a quick, easy, you know, the quick, easy process of me doing it. And the hair took to the color very well. So let's get to the install. Here's my model, everyone. As you can see, she has a short haircut and it's tapered in the back and on the sides. So we're just going to do the basic straight back braid pattern for whatever you can grip. If you can't grip it, don't even try. Just let it be. I decided to add a net in the back and you will be able to see when I'm cutting, I'm kind of leaving just a little bit there just in case I need to sew on it. So I'm just placing the frontal on just to see how it fits on her head before I actually install it. And now I am just basically wiping off her forehead um, to clean it off before we put the frontal on. So now you want to cut the lace off all around the frontal to prepare it for the install. Now everyone knows I'm all about going glueless, but let's face it you guys, I'm not a miracle worker. So with this install, we will be using tape. I do get a lot of questions about how you should install it if you have short hair, and here is an option. I still don't want to use glue, but I feel like the tape is just an easier, better option. And as you can see, I placed the tape on the lace and not on the skin first. I think it's just an easier application. And once you actually tack it down, you want to make sure to rub it down and make sure that it's actually on there. Give your client a quick little head massage while you're trying to press the tape down. And you just do the same thing around the entire head. And when you're placing the tape, just make sure that when you are going to tack it down, you're tacking it down on the skin and not on the hair. Now you want to sew in the middle and after you sew the middle, create those baby hair. And you don't necessarily need the baby hair. It's all personal preference. We, however, love baby hair. So now you want to sew their bundles in. And I do have a video where I show a little more in depth. But I just do the flip over method. I actually end up using only two of the bundles because she doesn't really have a large head. And now she can wear a ponytail. It's you that I call on my face time when I need something real. Oh, yeah. I'm up the night shift till late in the PM. I'm California dreaming.